Hi, welcome to Mimi Math. Today we're going to look at how to rewrite expressions that are in a rational form to back to radical form and how to rewrite um, expressions that are in radical form back to rational form. First of all, the word rational really just means fractional. So don't be scared of that word. You know, we all know what a fraction is. Okay, so let's start with a rational that we need to change forms back to a radical. Okay, we have p to the two-thirds. Okay, what we're looking at here is the bottom or the denominator of our fraction is actually a root, and the top is actually an exponent. So I'm going to rewrite this as p, and then I'm going to write it in a radical, and the 3 is my root, so it's a cube root of all this squared. Okay, so that's how you write it, where the 3 become, comes over and becomes the root. So over here I've got m to the 2 fifths. So the 2 is my root and the 5 is my exponent. So that's the square root of m all raised to the fifth power. Now we don't write the 2 here, we know it exists and we know it is there. So let's look at this one. This is 17 to the 1 sixth. So that means it's the sixth root of 17 to the first power. So I don't need to raise that to the first power. It's always to the first power. And then we have 20 to the 1 half. That is just going to be the square root of 20. Now that one actually simplifies. So let's go ahead and simplify it. That's 4 times 5, which is 2 times 2. So we have a pair, and that becomes two square roots of five, and that's your final answer. Okay, now let's reverse it. Now we've got a radical form, and we're switching back to rational exponents or fractional exponents. So that means whatever the root is becomes the bottom or the denominator of our fraction. So this is going to be 22 to the 4 thirds power. The next one is 113. Now, we don't have a number here, but what root is this? This is the square root. So I'm just going to write in a 2 here because we know that's to the a square root means you have two terms that multiply together to get the number. Okay, so it's going to be 113, but to what power? Well, we don't have 13 raised to a 113 raised to a power, so we assume that it's a 1, and then we bring the root down to the bottom, so it's 13 to the 1 half. So anything to the 1 half power just means a square root. Okay, so here's another one that doesn't have a number here, but we now know that, oh, there's a 2 there. So that's going to be a y to the 3 halves. And this last one is going to be z to the 4 fifths. So there you go. There's a quick little um, run through on how to convert from a, um, what is this one? a rational to a radical and then from radical back to a rational. Hope this video is helpful.